hurt, and them. So that was the word that, that God put in my spirit and he allowed me to see. He allowed me to understand and allowed me to, to see and develop. See, God was developing things in your life. And so to pull you out, he had to do certain things to get your attention, to get your focus off of what you were paying attention to. Even the Bible says, <coughs> excuse me, when the enemy would come in after the flood, the Bible says that when the enemy come in there, then the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. And so as the enemy coming in, the standard is the word. So God was always all, already preparing a way and making a way for you. He was. And it was coming through your warfare. And it was coming through your pain. It was coming to, to, through the things that your pet peeves, the things that you hated, the things that you uh, detest. Those were the things that served as a distraction that was taking your mind off of what you was feeling, what you was going through. And it was focusing your mind on that. But while you was focusing your mind on that, you was crying out to God. And as you was crying out to God, God was filling you. God was preparing you. He was making you stronger. He was, he was, he was growing your anointing. He was making you closer to him. And so what it did, it created a greater shine. And in that shine that it created, that shine was the reflection of your relationship with God. And in that flying, in, in that shine, that shine gave you the ability and it's given you the strength and give you the grace where God says it's sufficient. And so in other words, inside of God's grace, it's the ability, it's the know-how, it's the authority, it's the dunamis that will cause you to expand, it will cause you to grow, it will cause you to become educated, it will cause you to become wiser and stronger. And see, what, what comes up against you is not to destroy you, but it's to make you stronger. It's to add more spoils. It's to add more understanding. It's to add more revelation knowledge. It's to add more God. See, everything that you go through in life that comes against you is to add more God to your life. And so the more God you have to your life, more things will come to you. More blessings will come to you because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof in the world and they that dwell therein. So just remember that your cave or your warfare was actually your shield. Actually, it was the distraction that was taking your mind off of what you was dealing with. And, and, and in that particular time, of a period of time, you was being healed. And so now, many of you, you're released and you're free because you've been healed. You've been, you've been healed. You've been healed. By his stripes, he's brought you out. He's done it. And it's because of his grace. And it's because of his mercies that we're not consumed. And so you